G'day, it's Greg at Worldwide Salon Marketing. If your business has been closed by the pandemic, then here's a way you can use that downtime to get ready for when lockdowns are lifted. Today, I want to introduce you to a salon owner who owned an ordinary salon in a suburb of uh, one of our major cities and using a very, very easy tool that everybody carries in their pocket 24 hours a day, she turned her business into the biggest and most successful in her field within a year. She did it using this thing, very simple, just an ordinary mobile phone. And within a very short time, Carolyn Evans had brought in clients from all over the world to her suburban business. Here's how she did it. Okay, so I started by buying a, um, a hair salon uh, I, I was a trichologist, I am a trichologist, and I had a vision of uh, creating a trichology clinic where I could help people with um, hair health, hair loss, hair thinning and all of those things, but I didn't have a client base. So I bought a business, um, basically hoping to have that finance me whilst I built um, a trichology uh, clinic. In the beginning, the hair salon that I bought, um, it wasn't quite what I'd purchased, so I ended up with a uh, failing hair salon after spending a lot of money and uh, no managers and what have you. So that's when I came across Worldwide Salon Marketing. You helped me to get the, um, the hair salon back on track through promotions and things like that. And uh, I was also building my clinic at the same time. And a big part of that was um, working with George um, with the websites. He taught me the importance of blogging. Um, to keep obviously the organic rankings up there, so you're not just using CEO. So I learned the power of blogging every week, and I had various websites for different target points, which you helped me manage as well. And back then, I guess um, Google liked the photos and content, so we used to put a lot of photographs on there, so we were taking lots of images. And throughout that change, I guess it was two or so years. Google changed and then they decided they liked the videos. So George said to me, you know, you're going to need to change up what you're doing and get into the videos. So in the beginning I found the um, even just doing the photographic work was a little bit difficult to get into the zone of asking people can we take photos or getting photos of yourself before and after and things like that. And when George said, now you've got to do videos, and I've never personally starred in a video. I've never taken a video. I didn't even really understand too much about YouTube. And when he said, "Look, you really need to to get into this," I trusted him because what he taught me in the past worked. So we got video cameras. I think my first video is still on YouTube. It's quite funny. It's about four years ago now. But even getting out of that comfort zone and getting into the videos, I found like obviously the technology these days, you can record a video on any device and upload it on YouTube within five minutes. So I got into a routine of um, doing all these videos, obviously about trichology, about hair health, um, for the hair salons. In the beginning, I, I really specialised in um, hair straightening, specialising in safe hair extensions. I have to say, just recording the before and after pictures of this, keeping my customers' profiles out of there as well for privacy, um, I got so much interest on YouTube just from like the local business community using the keywords, so the same things you would use on your website. You put all that together. So I could go on about that for a long time. <laughs> it's an important part, an important part or element of what you did to, to grow the business. Absolutely. Um, and just take us through how the business has now changed because of that massive work that you did um, to raise your profile online. I do have to say it wasn't massive work because once you get into it, it becomes a habit and it actually becomes routine and fun. So, you know, getting into that zone, you say in the beginning, it was hard because someone's saying to a video, what what, what do you talk about on a video? What do you do? Whereas now I have got so many videos pre-recorded, which is such a point in press. And we've got all these topics ready to go. And it's really just amazing. You're just going to keep thinking outside of the square, I guess. If someone asks me a question that I think is, well, that's really interesting. 
then we do a, a video on it. So you know, through that transition, um, we've probably at the moment got about 170 videos um, on YouTube on very, very keyword um, targeted. It's changed my whole business that we sold. We moved out of the hair salon. We got rid of that. We don't need any of those um, aspects anymore. We're completely 100% a hair health clinic. And we have, like just before you um, call, Greg, I was replying to emails from, you know, one in Los Angeles, one was in India, um, doing a Skype tomorrow. So it's changed my whole business as in my client base, I guess. Um, so locally, I've got a lot more business. Everyone comes in and says, I feel like I know you because I've seen all of your instruction videos, which is fantastic. So you're like meeting an old friend. But for me, it's expanded my business far beyond um, Australia because you know, the videos do reach the rest of the world as well. Financially, obviously, it's been um, a big transition for us as well. We manufacture our own safe products. So not only are we now just selling them within Australia to our clients and to other hair salons, but we're also now um, distributing them around the world. So it really is just the beginning um, for us and you know, the videos have been a major thing that has motivated us um, along or pushed us down into a different direction, I guess. So from being a, a, a local business with a local clientele, because of that work you've done with us to build your online presence, You've now got an international consultancy where people all over the world pay you for your advice and you do that consulting via Skype, don't you? Correct. So how does that work? They contact you and, and they've seen your videos online. They contact you from all over the world and you set up um, Skype consulting meetings with them for which you charge, obviously. Yes. yes. So George, when he said when you're doing the videos, it's not just a matter of doing the video. He said you've got to label your video. And he says it's very, very important that you give them what you want them to do. So I always put my um, websites that I want them to see or I point them in a direction of what after, if they're interested in the video, what the next step is to take. So that's really important. You don't just put a video up there with no information. So these days you can put your email address on there. So I say in the end of every video who I am, where I'm from, and you can email me. So the next step for these people if they feel like they want to contact me, they know my name, they have my email address, so it's very personal as well, and they actually email me with their hair loss story. And from there, we've set up um, templates of what the procedure is. So it's, we kind of make it like an, an auto-reply, but with also a personal touch. And then we, um, we send them all the information they need to gather. So it's as if they were with me in person, sitting in front of me having a consultation. So here in my clinic, I use the microscope to do the diagnosis for the people around the world. We've taught them how to go and buy their own little microscope. We've done a pathway of how they use their little microscope and a whole series of videos about that, um, about how to collect their blood tests. They do before and after shots, the fill out forms. And with, with the way that technology is, it's really, really easy. And most people can gather all the information they need for me within a week. Then we make an appointment, they pay a deposit by PayPal, and we have the appointment. So and, and they stay with you over several appointments, presumably. All of our treatments are pretty much four months apart. So they go, you know, we do the diagnosis, we give them the treatment plan, and then we catch up again on Skype in four months, as if they would if they were here in Brisbane or at my clinic in Sydney. So it's no different. So it's created for you a stream of another stream of income that you otherwise wouldn't have had. Absolutely. Well, you couldn't travel overseas to all these different places. So where, give us an idea of where these clients are. Well, I did one last week in Singapore. I said, I've got one tomorrow um, in Los Angeles. I just had an email. Um, it's hard to tell by the name, you know, where, where they're from. I do a lot in the United States, um, Canada. Um, I have a lot um, in the UK as well, um, down Italy. Um, just trying to think. You know, a lot of them are, for me, the majority do come from the States and all different places over the States. So one day you might be 
in Florida and the next day you're in Pennsylvania, which is, we get a lot of the different islands as well. Now, now so, Carolyn, you're a, you're a specialist in, in your field, um, a, a trichologist, but can you see exactly the same process working for other specialists, skin care specialists, for example, or um, hair removal specialists, or can you see the same process working for, for those people? Absolutely. If they understand something that is a little bit different or, you know, they've got a different passion for, you know, the safety of or the care of or what have you, I mean, everyone's into the information these days. If they're happy to share that to get people to be part of their community, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there really, I guess, there really isn't anyone if they find that little niche thing for themselves that couldn't do that. You know, even the advice just for understanding the truth behind hair straightening or, as I said, the safe hair extensions during tutorials and, and things like that. You know, there's a lot of choices out there, I guess. So you've now, um, I mean, videos are only part of it, obviously. You've got to tie the whole um, video channel into your websites, etc., and that's quite a process. And, and obviously you, you needed some help from us to get that set up in the first place. But once it was set up, it, it, it kind of becomes like a machine, doesn't it? It's just easy, yeah. And so once you've had that training, you take your notes. I think the key thing is once you've learned it, you've got to practice it. You just have to get into that routine. You know, I, I probably do one video a week, um, have to post it on three different websites. Obviously, you're going to change the content each time, so you're writing stories as well. And I could, I could do it in my sleep now. Had I not... Um, come across you, and I think I Googled some kind of help, and, and there, you know, worldwide sale marketing were there. Honestly, it, it was, I don't think I would have gotten past that point to, you know, have the dream that I, that was my path. So definitely, I think you guys really have all of the solutions for them, and you help to guide people along the way. But the biggest thing I say to people is you know, contact you, listen, take action, don't just contact you, and then do nothing. Isn't that a fantastic story of success? And you know what? Anybody can do exactly what Carolyn's done because you're all armed with one of these. It's not hard. Uh, if you want to know how to do it, book a free uh, coaching session with me. Click on the link on the page here and uh, book a time with me in my calendar and I'll walk, it through, walk you through it uh, free. Um, it's very, very simple and uh, show you how to do exactly what Carolyn's done. Talk to you soon.